welcome to part seven of the order block strategy. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about liquidity. Now, you may think that why am I talking about liquidity now after I've explained everything? It's because I wanted to make sure that market structure was out of the way and now that you can understand where liquidity is sitting. So I remember, well, not I remember, but you should remember that in the first video in terms of order blocks, we explained that price is being forced down to liquid areas. Now, liquid area is essentially where people are placing the stop losses or where pending orders are being set. So for example, at a double bottom or a double top, we have liquidity sitting there. Why? It's because you have breakout traders looking to take the sell and you also have retail uh, strategy traders trading support and resistance looking to take a buy in this situation and looking to take a sell in this situation and a buy stop at this situation. So what the institutions are doing, they are triggering these, these breakout traders as well as taking out these sellers and then pushing price, All right? Same thing here. They're pushing price, they're triggering these sell breakout traders and taking out these buy retail traders and then pushing price away. This is a form of grabbing liquidity. However, liquidity is also sitting at every single high and every single low, okay? Which sounds a little bit mad, but I'm, I'll make sure. I'll make sure you understand. It's very simple. So remember when I said in the last video that there's liquidity that the only thing we need to be worried about is if the lows are being broken for a bullish trend. For a bearish trend, the only thing we need to be worried about is if uh, the only thing we need to be worried about is if the highs are being broken for a bearish trend. Why? For a bullish trend, we have liquidity sitting at every single low. Why? Because there are breakout traders. So people are going to be waiting, expecting for a breakout to happen and for them to capitalize on that breakout, right? So what sometimes, what happens is, say for example, the institutions are creating this move, right? If they don't have enough liquidity to continue the move, they will push price down, grab that liquidity and go. Okay, simple as that. They'll grab liquidity. It doesn't matter. It could even, they can even come to here, this one, but they can grab liquidity and go, which is why we don't say that this is our breaker structure to confirm a shift in market structure until, um, until we know whether that, that high is being broken or this low gets broken again. Okay, so remember, it's just grab, it could be just grabbing liquidity. Same thing for a bearish trend, there's liquidity sitting above every single high right so price can grab that liquidity and then push down okay simple as that you can even break this one or this one but that's just a liquidity grab the only thing we need to be concerned about is if price comes back and then breaks this structure okay so say if price comes back and breaks this structure okay that will confirm a change in market sh in, in market structure but we're not going to talk about that now because we are thinking about liquidity. That's the only thing you need to be aware about. There's liquidity sitting at equal highs or equal lows, which is basically triple tops or triple bottoms or double bottoms or double tops. And it's also sitting at every single high and low. Okay, so just see it that way. So when you see a break of structure, don't instantly think it's changing in structure because it could just be a liquidity grab. So for this video, that's the end of liquidity. There isn't really much more to it. Okay, and as you can see, so far, everything's very simple. We're not trying to make anything too complex, uh, even though the whole strategy is very complex. But you just need to think about it in very simple terms. You don't need to complicate it any further than it already is. But that's, that's all it is for liquidity.